He fulfilled China's first manned space mission in 2003, and since then China has undoubtedly made huge progress on manned space exploration. Which part has impressed you the most? When I was in space, I stayed in a very small capsule, just a few cubic meters in size. That was where I lived and worked throughout the mission. But this time, after the two astronauts reached the Tiangong-2 space lab, they will stay there for a whole month, which will test whether our space lab will be able to provide healthy conditions for humans to live and work. Meanwhile, with the conditions improved, the two astronauts will be able to carry out a huge number of experiments, including aerospace, medicine and space lab repair and maintenance. So there is very impressive progress in many areas, including the length of time, the nature of the experiments and the condition of the space lab. I remember 13 years ago, I was still a student watching you on TV, and we were deeply concerned about your personal safety, your personal health, as well as the success of your mission. And now, 13 years later, since two of your younger colleagues will soon be sent to space, do you think they are facing a bigger challenge or a smaller challenge compared to a decade ago? Uh, as I said, we have many new tasks this time, so there are also tougher requirements for our astronauts. For example, they will stay in space for a significantly longer time, which will demand a stronger ability to adapt to the environment and handle emergencies should they happen. They will also carry out a lot more complicated experiments, for which they have gone through extensive training. That's why when we're selecting the astronauts, we have raised the standards in their personal ability and scientific knowledge. These are all new requirements, which we did not stress as much when I was selected, because at the time, we focused more on the technological breakthrough than the astronauts' ability. You were an astronaut deep in space, and now you are in the office commanding two of your younger colleagues in space. Do you have bigger pressure 13 years ago in space or do you have a bigger pressure today in the office? Uh, Frankly speaking, I feel a much bigger pressure in my position today. When I was in space, the only thing I needed to worry about is whether I can fulfill my own work. But now each time I send astronauts on their missions, I always tell people that I'm even more stressed than the time I went on my mission. These astronauts are my colleagues and friends that I've worked with side by side. We have selected them to fulfill a very risky mission for the team and for all human beings. And I, as one of the commanders, have an immense responsibility to prevent any slightest detail from going wrong. It's the same feeling for everyone. I remember in 2003, I watched the playback on TV after I returned from space, and I found many of my colleagues in the mission control room burst into tears when the mission was accomplished. And now it's the same to me.